Hi, today I want to do a quick tutorial on Microsoft Teams and how to set up a video conferencing using this tool. To start with, you go to Office, you log on um, with the usual CPUT login details. Um, I use the web browser, I haven't downloaded the app yet, but you could download the app on your laptop or on your phone. And what we're interested in today is Teams. So you see all the apps here you have access to, but today we go to Teams. So if you clicked on Teams, you will get to your team site. And um, you'll find all the teams that you've been added to. I'm part of two teams, it looks like, our Center for Innovative Educational Technology team, and then a Curricular Officer Blended Learning Task team. So if we go to see it, for example, you'll see all the members that are part of the center, all my colleagues, and see it has a chat functionality. So if you come back here to the see it page, you can see all the messages that we've written so far. Hi, hi Gavin. I'm fine. So this is an area for the center for the department to chat. But on top of this, this is also the place to create online meetings. So if you click on this little webcam, you can see the video conferencing room opening up. You can meet now if people are already online, but you can also schedule a meeting. So say if I wanted to schedule a departmental meeting, <clears throat> you do that here. You can say when it should start. So say it's today from 4 to 4.30. Could repeat or not, depending on what you need. And you can invite attendees. So say I want to invite Donna and Freak. And I would look at whether they are available or not. And it looks like they might be available because I had I tried this out before so I had invited them to a departmental meeting already at the same time. But here would you here you would see whether the people you need in your meetings are um, busy or not. And then you can send the invite to them. Now because this is integrated with Outlook Calendar, if you go to your Outlook In your calendar you would find the invite here to your meeting and here is also a link to the actual meeting room which you could forward to people who are not part of CPUT for example to outside guests to join you so I go back to my meeting page and I can see here is the four o'clock departmental meeting that I scheduled so if you want to join it I click on it it opens up and I can say join. And then a usual web conferencing room will open up. So connecting. <coughs> and there I am. And you see the same functionalities as all these web conferencing tools have. There's, you can turn the camera off or on depending on your bandwidth. You can mute your mic in order not to have an echo if other people have the mics on. You can share your screen and most importantly, you can record your meeting. So in case people cannot make it, but you want to keep a record of your meeting, you can record it here. So if I say start recording, I will see now that little recording button turns red and I record everything that I say. There's also a chat functionality, say hi, everyone who is part of these meetings. I could see the participants, currently it's just me, but if others were part of this meeting I would see them too. So I think these are the most important functionalities and the, the basics to set up a meeting on Microsoft Teams. If I wanted to end the meeting I would say stop recording and later on I will find the link to the recording in my in my team page 
And if I'm done with my meeting, I can have a look. So now I'm leaving and I get back to my team page and I can see the meeting ended after a minute and 19 seconds and the recording will be saved here and it will be eventually be available here in the Microsoft screen. So this is it. I hope you have gotten the basics right. Um, let me know if you have any questions.